good morning and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well and thank you very much for joining me today. Today is currently Tuesday. It is kind of a rainy day outside and I've just come off the best weekend in Noosa with my family. Super restful except on Sunday morning we did wake up at 4.30 to go and watch the sunrise at the National Park which was honestly unreal and so worth the early morning and I just I felt so rested. It's so nice to just hang out with your family and just fill your soul and now I need to start getting my ish sorted. I have some errands to run today, so I thought I would bring you along. We go to Bali in under two weeks now, so it's Tuesday today. We leave not this Sunday, but the next under two weeks it's come around so fast and i just need to get some things sorted for that i need to get i want to get a new toiletry bag i need new like little jars to put my shampoo and condition in so i need to get that i was thinking about getting my nails done but i don't know if it's too early like if i push it out i could probably wait and just get them done once before barley but i've got this one nail and it's broken now but it was split and it was catching every single hair every time i put my hair up and if you know you know if you've got a split nail they're just annoying and they're looking really ratty so maybe i will get them done twice before i go so i need to do that i need to get a watch resize theo needs to go to the vet because he has been excessively licking his paws and i filmed a video so you guys can kind of see what's going on why are you licking? What's wrong with your paws? You gonna go to the vet? You gonna get it looked at? But yeah. It has been very dramatic and excessive. And I had a look at his paws and they're looking a little bit red. So I think it might be a yeast infection. So I booked him into the vet. I also need to get him some dog food as well. Lots of bits of bobs I need to do. I'm nervous to take him to the vet because he's scared of the vet he's scared of some people and he sometimes launches at them which is really embarrassing and i don't know how to train it out of him he's never attacked anyone or like actually bit anyone but he'll just launch at them and i think it stemmed from taking him to the vet so i did write on the notes that he's nervous of people so hopefully that's all right there's a man walking past my car so we'll see how that goes so that's at 9 50 this morning but right now i need some coffee i've got myself a protein shake I'm hungry. This is from Protein World. I do have a discount code. It's Alex. No, PW Alex. So if you want to try a protein, you can use my code and give that a go. This is really yum. It's the, um, oh, I forget the flavor. It's like vanilla y something, but it's delicious. So I'm going to have that because I'm hungry. And I am going to get a coffee because I need my coffee fix. I'm literally going to a place that's like 15 minutes away, but it's worth it because it's a drive through for one and they are just so nice. And I could literally go through there in the worst mood in the world go through there and just be in the best mood because they're just so nice and so full of beans quite literally so i'm gonna go and do that come home have some brekkie get theo take him to the vet then go to the shops and do everything i need to do there i need to get a lipstick as well because i'm literally scraping my favorite lipstick out of the container so i need that um and yeah, just a bunch of things. I've written everything down. I'm going to bring you along. So with all that being said, let's go and get ourselves a coffee. Ugh. Oh, by the way, I'm in my parents' car because um, mine is still at Range Rover. Sorry, I've got my parents' car, which is good. It means I don't have to be hiring them anymore. And this is what I actually learned to drive in, fun fact. So I'm very used to driving this big beast around. And it has 500,000 Ks on it. 500,000 that's insane. That's a Toyota for you. Toyota Prado. So if you're looking for a car that's going to last you 300 lifetimes, get this one. Coffee is acquired. <clears throat> so good. Two sad things though. You may have already seen the first one. Flat lids are out of stock. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Secondly, my favorite worker there is leaving. How dare she move on with her life? <laughs> <laughs> so that's sad, but you know, it's all right. Um, but what I get is an almond ice latte. They have sugar-free hazelnut there. This is Taste My Bean, by the way. I don't know where else they have them, but I go to the one in Jibung. Just FYI, if you live on the north side of Brisbane, you can check it out because they've got sugar-free hazelnut vanilla and caramel. And the coffee is just, it's so yum. And you can get these really big dogs and they're so good. Highly recommend. Back home now, Brecky is served. This is a mug cake from Naked Harvest, and then I put Yopro yogurt on top, and strawbs and maple. It is delicious. Mm. Now it's time for stop one of the day, which is take this little man to the vet. 
He gets really excited every time he gets in this car because it's my parents' car, so he associates it with being a Noosa and going to the beach and having a fantastic time. But in fact, we are going to the vent and I feel really bad. <laughs> We're running late, but I just wanted to quickly jump on here and let you know that I did just reverse this big car into a reverse car park and um, I did it on my first try, so I'm pretty much the best. <laughs> 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 so it turns out Theo was saved by the bell for now because my appointment is in fact tomorrow, not today, which is really annoying. I think I did that because maybe all of their appointments were booked, so all of the ones that I saw are actually for tomorrow, not today. So I can take him later to a different clinic if I can get an appointment or just go tomorrow, which I'll probably end up doing depending on how I go for time because I haven't booked the new ones. So I'll probably just take him tomorrow. But anyways, I've dropped Theo home. I'm at the shops now. I'm going to head in. I think I'm going to grab a couple things first, maybe buy everything I need to, then sit down and get my nails done. I'll show you guys my inspo. I kind of want to do something fun, especially if I am getting them done twice before Bali because I think I'll do something quite simple for Bali that'll just go with everything and... For now, I kind of want to do something a bit fun. I kind of want to do this. How cute is that? I love the cobalt blue and the little hearts. It's still Feb, still the month of love. So I might do that, even though I am really impatient getting my nails done. But I feel like that'll be quite quick because it's just two little feature nails. And I like that they're short as well because my nails are natural. And because this one's broken, I'm going to have to get them quite short. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm really excited. Something a little bit different. I'm really boring and always get white nails. So anyways, let's head on in. I think I'm going to head to Mecca first and pick up my lipstick that I need. Maybe a couple other bits and bobs. I'll see what I'm feeling. But let's go. I get really nervous filming in public, but I'll do my best. So I found these. Perfect. Three little ones in there. Now I need a toiletry bag. And I'm thinking something like this. Because it's clear and I can see everything that's in there and it's only 15 bucks. Guys, oh my god. Mm, I need this. I really don't, but I'm getting it. I'm done in the shops. I just need to go and get Theo's food, but I got my nails done. I'm literally obsessed. I'll show you my before. Tragic. Now look. <gasps> look how cute! I love the little love hearts. <gasps> I never get anything special like this, so I'm very excited about it. I couldn't get the exact cobalt blue, they didn't have it, but he's very cute nonetheless. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be doing this all day. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, this makes you want to get nail art every time, and yes, it is very simple. And it took her, literally, I was in there for probably like half an hour? which isn't bad for getting your nails done. And I think it's because they're natural nails as well. 50 bucks it was, a nail society at Chermside. I love them. And they like take such care there as well. They ask if you want extra layers, what shape again. They just really like actually ask you what you want, which you'd think they do every time, but some places just don't. Very happy. Now I'm gonna go get Theo's food, head home, and I'll show you everything that I picked up. I've got some flowers here, so I do need to rush home because I've been sitting in the car because I had to do a car job because I couldn't be bothered holding everything. Um, so yeah, Theo's food, and then we'll be at home. I'm gonna show you what I got. I feel like I've been here, there, and everywhere and hardly got anything, but I got things I need. First thing being some paracetamol. Don't pay the full price for Panadol. This was 80 cents from Woolworths. Paracetamol. Run out, need that, especially if we're going to Bali. Oh, another thing that we're doing for Bali is we are currently taking colostrum, which apparently you're meant to take a couple of weeks before going, and it kind of prepares your immune system. So you have those twice a day, which I do keep forgetting, so I need to get on to. But if you're heading to Bali and you're worried about Bali belly, apparently that helps, so we will see. I may need this and many other things if I get Bali Belly, which fingers crossed, I do not. But the first place I went, as you guys saw, was Mecca. I did show you what I got. I wanted to get my Charlotte Tilbury, 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 I always say it weird, Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. They didn't have it in stock. So I whipped out my old one and I went to the Mecca lipsticks, which I have used this before because Freya buys this one and it's really nice and glossy and it looks like the closest color to, sorry, Theo's next to me panting like a madman. You right? This is the closest color to Pillow Talk and I thought it was really nice. Look at that. Really, really nice. And it's nice and glossy too. Like, it's like a satin, which I love. It's not too matte. So, gonna give that a go. And it's cheaper, which is nice. I think it was 20 bucks. 
that's good. And then I also picked up this from Hourglass. I just get the mini one. It's one of their ambience lighting powders in the shade Incandescent Strobe Light. And I actually use this under my eyes sometimes and it makes it look nice and bright. That's why I just get the little one because I just use a tiny bit underneath my eyes to make it really nice and bright. And I love it. Sometimes I use it in my inner corner too if I just want a subtle little glow. But I'm fully out of this. I've used every last drop. So I did need to get that. So those are the two things that I got from Mecca. This was 47 bucks. this tiny little thing. But it does last me forever because I literally just use it under my eyes every now and then. So I got that. Then as you saw, I went into, was it Kmart or Target? Kmart. I went into Kmart because I needed some travel bottles, like I said. So I got these. 10 bucks. Three of them. And then I also ended up picking up this, not the other one, because it's smaller. And I don't really have that many toiletries. I didn't really need that huge one. And I do need to be mindful when I'm packing because I don't want to take up too much room. Because I know I'm going to want to take a lot of clothes. So just got this for my basic toiletries. It's got little mini ones in there. And a little airplane because it's for travel. Then you saw this. I didn't even drink hot coffee. But I wanted this. It's so cute. I can have other beverages in here. But this is just... I just had to have it. It's I've always wanted, well, for a long time now, and I have mentioned in a few videos, a bubble cup. So, got this. Hot chockey. It's done. Um, I also picked up a mini toothpaste. Essential for travel. I also got some pocket combs because I don't have a hairbrush for my handbag and I always want to borrow frays when we're out and it's annoying. So, I needed my own. So, I got these. Um, I also got this because they were on special. They're normally $5 each for one eye mask. Two you know, for one use. And I love them. I always have some of these on hand. So I just picked up one because I already have some. These are by Garnier, by the way, if you haven't heard me talk about them, they're amazing for like refreshing underneath your eyes if you get like puffy because they've got caffeine in them and hyaluronic acid. They reduce eye bags and reduce dark circles and they're like a cooling effect. I love them. Also, very, very random, but at the front of our house, at the front of our garage, we have an old bit of carpet that we wipe our feet on and it just looks gross. It rolls up all the time. It's annoying and it just doesn't look nice. So I wanted to get a mat for that area that's just going to look a bit better and not be a piece of old ratty carpet that was left over from the house. So I got this. I think it was like $12 which is so good. So I'm going to put that at the front and that'll look not a lot, a lot, a lot nicer. And lastly for the house, I also picked up some flowers. These are called baby's breath because we've got old roses down there that um, Brad got Freya for Valentine's day and they're a bit ratty now. So I got some of these and I love these flowers. So got them. That's literally all I got. I also picked up some almond milk and Oh, bless you. That's it. I was going to get a gradual tan because I don't know if I want a fake tan in Bali because that's just annoying. So I kind of want to just keep applying gradual tan every day and try and get a real tan maybe with sunscreen. So I might still get a gradual tan. I'm on the hunt for the Palmer's one because apparently that's really good. I couldn't find it anywhere. I tried uh, Priceline, Kmart, Big W, Woolies, another random chemist and they didn't have it. So I don't know if it's discontinued, but apparently that's good. I'm sure there's other good ones out there. If you know of any, do let me know. That is everything I picked up. I'm going to have a little break now, do some editing, do some work. And then, I don't know if I mentioned at the start of the video, but I do want to get my watch resized. And I forgot to bring it to the bloody shop, so I might have to go somewhere else and get that done, if I can be bothered this afternoon. Before and after. It's little things. It looks a lot nicer than an old bit of carpet, so I'm pleased. Now we've got this situation, so I'm going to chuck these out. Yay, that's better. The running errand slides are back on because I'm about to head out and go and get my watch looked at. There's a place right near me, so I have no excuse to not go. I didn't want to because I really didn't want to leave the house again, but it's just one of those things that I'm going to keep putting off and I really want to wear that watch, so we're going to do it. By the way, I have that new lipstick on. I really, really, really like it. It's so nice and moisturizing and I don't have to put gloss on. Very pleased. Watch has been handed in and I've been quoted $15 and I'll pick it up tomorrow. So I am going to leave the vlog here. I'm really, I'm rattled right now actually because I just walked past it. There's this really drunk guy who sits at our local shops and he literally, he, every time I'm here, he is there on that chair, drunk as a skunk. And he asked me for $2 and I don't have $2 on me. I didn't even have my purse on me. So I said, no, I don't, sorry. And then he was just like muddling some things. I don't know what he said, but he was just being really rude. 
and yeah anyway that just happened but yeah i'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow when i pick the watch up hello it is the next day happy wednesday i took theo to the vet this morning and he does in fact have a yeast infection i was correct just call me a vet so he's got special medication he has to take twice a day for two weeks and then once a day until the rest of the bottle is out so that will help with his itching he also has a special medicated shampoo so he's all sorted which is good i also have just gone to pick up my watch which i love it fits perfectly it's like that little bit loose so it's not too tight which i actually really like so very happy with that. So that's going to conclude this video, this very random run errands with me video, getting a little bit prepared for Bali, doing random things I've been putting off here and there. My next video will be a weekend vlog. I'm going to vlog this weekend. And then the next video is going to be more preparation for Bali. I need to get my eyelashes done, my eyebrows. I'm getting my first ever wax down there, which I'm very nervous about. Not sure what to expect. So I'm going to bring you along to that. Hopefully I can feel my reaction because I'm really curious. I do have a good pain threshold, but I feel like it's just going to be a whole new level. So, yes, I'm going to do that and then like a pack with me and then I'll probably bring you along on my travels to Bali and then start a new one from there. So lots of videos coming up. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.